Welcome to Passive Cash Flow, a channel dedicated to guiding you towards financial independence through sustainable passive income streams. Today, we will guide you on how to generate passive income most effectively. Understanding the origin of income. It is the process of exchanging value, how we create value and then exchange it for a corresponding reward. Many people still perceive working as a means to secure a job, working long hours for promotions, climbing the corporate ladder for salary increments, and everything unfolding as an inertial process. Once it is understood that the source of income lies in creating value, we will develop a more proactive approach to increasing income, rather than relying on assignments from others. An important characteristic is that value does not necessarily have to be proportional to the effort or time invested. If we know how to build value, we can create it without being dependent on the quantity of effort or time. This highlights a crucial concept in personal finance, passive income. So what is passive income? It refers to income sources that do not depend on our limited resources, such as health, energy, or time. Simply put, it's income that we don't have to actively work for, but still consistently brings in money. The reason passive income is crucial is that it liberates us from the pressures of labor and time, allowing us more time to build new passive income streams. This continuous process enables us to create unlimited passive income, in contrast to the limited nature of active income. Today, I'll share some suggestions on passive income sources. While these are common and widely adopted, they are not the only ideas. Consider them as examples to understand the essence of passive income. And from there, you can creatively develop other passive income sources that suit you. Now, let's move on to the first passive income source, and perhaps also the most challenging one, buying a house and renting it out. The reason I chose this income source to discuss first is because it's easy to understand and I can use it to explain the following passive income sources. To acquire this income source, we need to somehow obtain a sufficiently large amount of money to buy a house. Once we have the property, we can rent it out, and in this way, it will continue to generate income for us without requiring much additional effort even when we are asleep. Of course, not entirely without effort, as we may need to perform maintenance or collect rent. However, the amount of effort we put in is minimal, and we can even delegate these tasks to a service company. This is the first income source I'd like to mention. In this section, I'd like to touch upon another income source that is quite similar to renting out houses, which is renting out cars. This activity is quite similar to the earlier cases, so I won't elaborate much further. The common challenge for these two income sources is that they require us to have a sufficiently large amount of money to start. Of course, we can borrow from a bank and use the rental income, but with houses, it essentially pays for itself, whereas with this approach, it leans towards investment. Generally, passive income and investment are separate stories beyond the scope of today's discussion. This is because it requires such a large sum of money, demanding us to work extensively to accumulate and build this passive income. However, this is also applicable to almost all other passive income sources. The difference is that passive income is not income that we don't have to do anything for. It simply means we have to put in a lot of effort initially. After that, when it's completed, we almost don't need to do anything more. This is a common characteristic of almost all passive income sources. The second passive income source that I want to share with everyone is a fairly common type of income which comes from the interest earned on savings when deposited in a bank. This income source undoubtedly is familiar to you and everyone because of depositing savings in a bank. Therefore, I will briefly explain it and focus on highlighting some important points. When we deposit savings in a bank, essentially, we are entrusting our money to the bank for them to manage on our behalf. They use this money to lend to others and the profits from this activity are shared with us through interest payments. This income source has two crucial characteristics. Firstly, it resembles income from real estate because it is very secure. Secondly, compared to investing in real estate, it does not require a large amount of capital, 
allowing us to start with either a small or large amount depending on each person's financial capability. However, when choosing this passive income source, attention should be paid to a crucial factor that many people often overlook, which is the issue of the currency's inflation rate or inflation rate. To explain it simply, consider paying 10 USD for a bowl of noodles and assuming you have to pay 15 USD for a similar bowl of noodles next year. That is the concept of inflation and it is entirely normal in any economy. Our task is to know how to analyze and consider the interest rate of the bank we are choosing to see if it can outperform the inflation rate. If not, our money will decrease in value instead of increasing. The next income source I want to share with everyone is dividend income. Stem from owning shares of a company. When we are shareholders of a company, whether we own a few or many shares, we are still co-owners of that company. Therefore, when the company makes a profit, after deducting all expenses, the profit is shared with the co-owners through dividends. Assuming a company has 10 shareholders and generates a monthly profit of 10 million, each shareholder would receive 1 million. However, dividends are not a simple concept, and not all companies pay dividends. Details about dividends and how they work can be explored further in investment courses. Returning to our story, similar to depositing money in a bank. The advantage of this passive income source is that we don't need a large capital to start. With just a few million, we can buy shares of companies that pay dividends. When choosing the right company, we not only receive regular dividends, but also experience the growth of the stock's value. This is similar to owning rental properties, where the asset's value increases over time. However, it is important to note that like depositing money in a bank, the inflation rate also affects the value of currency. Our task is to analyze the interest rate of the bank we choose and ensure that it can outpace the inflation rate. If not, the value of the money will decrease instead of increasing. So far, all three income sources mentioned share a common aspect. We must have a certain amount of capital to start. Now, I will begin sharing with everyone some other passive income sources that do not require capital. However, before delving into these, let's revisit the essence of passive income. It's not that we don't have to do anything, but rather, we invest a lot of effort and energy in the initial stages to establish and help it grow. Once it has taken off, we no longer need to do additional work. I will start with some easy-to-understand examples. First, let's talk about publishing books. Within a certain period, if the content is of high quality, there will be buyers, creating an additional income source. However, this activity has a drawback. Not everyone has the ability to write books, and not every topic can be published. This leads us to another activity, creating videos. Currently, many people are engaged in this activity, stemming from the nature of income creation, which is providing value. Each video created by individuals must deliver some form of value to viewers, such as entertainment, information, or knowledge. These videos can generate income through advertising, a form of passive income. However, for success, it requires a significant investment of time and effort, especially in the initial stages. For example, people watch videos for entertainment, to obtain information, or gain useful knowledge. When there are viewers, advertisements will appear in the video. Subsequently, the ad revenue will be shared among everyone, and thus, the videos created require considerable effort. However, once completed, they can generate a steady income, serving as a form of passive income. Regarding this, talking about it is easier than doing it, requiring a significant investment of time and effort, especially in the initial stages. Besides, there is another challenging activity that you can consider. Teaching on a specific topic. However, this job is quite demanding, as it requires not only in-depth knowledge of the subject, but also teaching and communication skills. You may also consider other activities such as developing applications, selling design templates, or photographs if you work in programming, design, or photography. These activities have been successful passive income sources for many people. Here are some specific examples. If you work in programming, you can develop and sell applications on platforms like the App Store or Google Play. 
Sometimes, a simple app solving a specific problem can attract many buyers, and with a global scale, the income can be surprising. If you are in design, you can sell your design templates or icon sets. These products are often used in various projects and can create a continuous income stream. If you are a photographer, you can sell unique photos you capture. Stock photo websites or creating your own website to sell photos are common approaches. All these activities require patience and effort, especially in the initial stages. However, once you have built a customer or user base, passive income can come regularly without requiring much additional work. Continuing with the examples, for those in programming, creating and selling applications can be a feasible option. It doesn't have to be a complex app, Sometimes, solving a specific problem can provide significant value. You can sell apps for prices ranging from $1 to $2, and when expanding business globally, the income figures can increase rapidly. For designers, selling your design templates or drawing icon sets can be a viable option. This requires creativity and patience, but if you create quality products, they can provide a stable income. Photographers can also earn passive income by selling their captured photos. Many people have generated substantial income by sharing their work in this way. Importantly, regardless of the path you choose, patience and consistent effort in building step-by-step -step are the keys to success. Summarizing the main points in the speech, as it concludes, I'll recap some key ideas shared. First, passive income is income not tied to our limited resources. Second, most passive income sources require significant initial investment of effort, but with persistence and targeted investment, they generate steady income without much ongoing work. Everyone should have a portfolio of passive income sources. Unfortunately, many people around us have only active income, or in some cases, just one source of active income. To break free from this situation, we can use active income to get by initially, but always aim for passive income. For example, if we earn 50,000 USD per day from a passive income source, over time, we can have 500,000 USD per day, equivalent to 15 million USD per month. I believe 15 million is sufficient to cover most people's minimum expenses. This is not too difficult, especially in the age of the internet, where everything we create can be sold globally. Therefore, we need perseverance and diligence, dedicating ourselves for an extended period. I believe anyone can achieve this. I hope the series on income has helped you understand the essence of income and how to build income sources for the future, allowing you to be proactive in living and doing whatever you want. Thank you for your attention. If you find the video interesting, please like and subscribe.